What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to have you punching like One Punch Man himself. And all you need are gloves, hook, hook, and a medicine ball. Let's get into the video. What up, everybody? Everybody, what's up, everybody? <laughs> All right, guys, drill number one using the medicine ball, building power, and my wall today is actually going to be sweet tea. Hey, dude. <laughs> so, what you're going to do, guys, you're going to be in your set fighting stance, whatever side forward you want to have. I like to do both. Maybe you guys don't switch sides, whatevs. I like to do both sides. Unacceptable. Exactly, you gotta be able to work both sides in this. So I'm gonna be in a good position and I'm working on explosiveness, right? From the energy leaving from the floor to my hip, to my shoulders, into my punch, and being as explosive and as powerful as possible. So here we go. I'm gonna be here, he's gonna throw the medicine ball, I'm gonna catch, set, and explode. So, and again, I have sweet tea today, but if you have a wall, you know, okay. whatever, that's cool too. Now again, I have sweet tea today, but if you have a wall, uh, maybe you don't have a partner, but you have a wall to throw the medicine ball at and then recover it and do it again, that's perfectly fine. All right, I got sweet tea, I'm gonna use them. Ha, so ha. He throws the ball, boom, in good position, and then I explode, boosh, just like so. Hands up, just like I would be in a fight, elbow back, boosh. And what you can do is, do sets of 10, Oosh. 10 both sides. So I'll do 10 uh, left foot in front, Oosh. and I'll switch, and I'll do 10 uh, right foot in front, Oosh. just like so. Now while I'm doing this, I gotta pivot my hips, pivot my heel, and of course my shoulder, Oosh. trying to be as fast and explosive Oosh. as possible. Ta -da. Now this medicine ball is a 10 pound medicine ball. I would start off with eight, work your way up to about 15. I don't, I don't go any higher than 15. If you guys wanna intensify it, don't increase the weight, just increase the reps and the time that you're doing it. That was drill number one. All right guys, drill number two, gonna need the medicine ball again for this one. Now this is gonna be uh, helping with your power, and not only that, but building the stabilizer muscles in your core and in your arm to make that technique strong. Now what I'm gonna be doing is push-ups, but specifically putting one hand on the medicine ball, one hand off, and trying to explode through the medicine ball, right? And I like to do both sides, so I'm, I'm, going, right, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. And I'll do, let's say, sets of 10. I'm gonna do five right now for you guys. So I'm gonna be in position, one hand on the medicine ball. This is gonna be wobbly, so it's gonna help the stabilizer muscles, making your punch more powerful. Exploding up, pushing through the medicine ball. Other side. Just like so. In doing this, it's gonna help the core. Because to build power in your strikes, everything has gotta be strong. Your legs, your core, and of course your upper body. Now if your legs and your core are strong too, you can really hurt somebody with your strikes. You don't need the biggest arms in the room to have powerful strikes. One of the hardest I've ever been hit was from like a 125 pound guy, right? So you don't need to have big muscles in order to hit hard. It's all about core and explosiveness. And this drill here is amazing. It's gonna help with your core, like I said, and following through and stabilizing muscles. That is drill number two. Drill number three. And of course, using again, the medicine ball. Now these bad boys right here, are super cheap. You can get this off of Amazon, your uh, sporting goods store, your local sporting goods store. These are amazing and very versatile. So I suggest you get you one, get you some actually, get you some. Here we go. Making everything connected strong, right? Hips, your legs connected to your upper body. Everything's got to work together in order to make your punches strong. And one of the most group of muscles that you're gonna be using in the fight game is gonna be your core. If your core is not strong, your punch is gonna be weak, your kicks are gonna be weak, and we can't have that. So one of my favorite drills to build the core, because it works all the way around, 
is called twisties. So very simple. I start off with maybe let's say maybe 25. If you're not used to these, start off light and work your way up. I will end up doing 100. Now, not 100 over and back, but over and back makes one. So what I do is I start off like so. Now what this position is gonna do, it's gonna help keep your core tight. Now while I stay in this position, my abs are tight. They have to be or I can't hold myself up. Why is that important in the fight game? When you're kicking and you're punching, throughout the entire fight, my ab, my core is tight. If my core is not tight and it's relaxed, even for a split second, and I get hit at that right time, I'm going down and you can't recover from those body shots. And it allows my punches to be ready at all times. So staying in this position also builds stamina in that core as well. It also helps the hips. So twisties or Russian twists, very simple. Now, if you notice, I do not cross my feet. I'm not crossing my feet. I'm keeping both feet together and I'm going back and forth. And if you notice, I'm hitting the ground. I'm not just kind of keeping the ground off the floor because what happens is from here, you're just moving the shoulders and not your core. You want everything to be moving. So over and back is one. And I'll do sets over and back, a hundred. I recommend working, starting off doing 25, working your way up to 30, and then all the way up to 100. That is drill number three. All right, so drill number four, last drill. Now there is hundreds of drills that you can do. These are probably just my favorite with scare. So this is just a simple way to do it. And all you need is two things. Like I said, gloves and medicine ball, right? You can do this at your own home. I'm using 18 ounce gloves. I also have two pound gloves, which I don't re recommend using right off the bat. Oh God, I kind of sworn I saw somebody over there, dude. It was your reflection. Anyway. Oh, there oh is my somebody. God. <laughs> there is somebody. You scared the crap out of me, dad. We're sitting here videoing and I hear, I see somebody walk by and I'm like, Bro, I, I could have sworn that I just saw somebody. I thought it was his, his reflection. It's old Papa Rich in over here. Now, I'm making this quick, but I recommend if you're doing any kind of heavy duty, hard hitting on a bag, wrap your hands. I'm only going to be doing a few for the video. So I'm not wrapping my hands, but you should. So that way you're not injuring yourself. You got to have a bag. That's okay. I would say, okay, three things. Medicine ball, gloves, and a bag. Or a tree. And we'll do bag work where all you have to do is punch as hard as you can. And sometimes just doing that will build tremendous power in your strikes. Because, you know, that's the main thing that you're wanting to build, right? Your punching power. So why not do that? So we'll do drills where I'll do a specific strike. And I, my goal is not to be fast, but to hit it as hard as I can. And we'll do drills where, okay, we have to do 10 stiff, hard jabs into the bag. So we'll stand in front, no moving, just standing in front. And my goal is just, boom, just to hit it hard. Boom, single techniques. Boom, just like so. And in the process of doing this, I also make sure that I'm not telegraphing, right? Not bringing the arm back, but just straight out. Boom. So I will do 10 jabs as hard as we can. Next technique, 10 crosses or 10 twos. Backhand, pivoting, good distance. Make sure you're not too close and just start from here and trying to hit this bag as hard as you can. Boom! Now, if you notice, I'm not popping it. I'm not hitting it and bringing it back. I'm sinking it in an extra, what, inch, I guess, try to move the bag, which builds everything up to have heavy hands. Boom! 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 Just like so. So from there, you can do your lead hand hooks. You can do your backhand hooks. You can do your lead hand uppercuts and backhand uppercuts. So the drill is to get in front of the bag, do sets of 10, each technique, and try to hit it as hard as you can. Your goal is to try and bust the bag. And in doing so, will slowly help build that punching power to where you can be putting people to sleep. Go work it. Thank you guys for hanging out with us this Technique Tuesday. Hopefully these drills will help build your punching power. And uh, now I gotta wash my hands because my gloves stink, Tony. Yeah, is that your gloves or is that your hiney hole? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, catch y'all later. Peace.
Sweet tea to everybody. Bye. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Peace, y'all.